After spending a few days in Key West, we set out for Fort Myers to meet up with family. We have been planning this trip for several months and have been looking forward to it. We decided to take the back roads to catch a glimpse of more alligators. As we made our way down Alligator Alley, we saw at least five gators on the side of the road and several birds. Being a nature lover I am, I was happy to be in the passenger seat while Tamar was driving. Although we are staying in a hotel while in Fort Myers, we needed a place to safely park the RV. We made reservations at W.P. Franklin Campground, which is an Army Corps of Engineers park. We had spent time here in September and really liked the atmosphere. We were not able to get five days in one site and had to move three times over the five days. We didn't mind moving as it was relatively close to where we were staying. If you decide to book at this campground over the winter months, be sure to book early. We would like to thank everyone for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. How are you? This is our site, but only for tonight. Tomorrow, we have to move two spots over, but for, what does it cost, babe? What? What does it cost? Uh, I'll have to look it up. 35? Show us your skills. Hey guys, we're here for a few days and we were actually here back in September, yeah. early September and we really enjoyed it. It was a nice quiet park. They have really nice shower facilities, mm -hmm. no laundry, so besides that it's a good park. And hoping to see some manatees this time. Yeah. Tis the season. Where are we at by the way? Be right back with that. <laughs> we are at WP Franklin Park. It's out. You know when you're driving, you feel like you're out in the country, don't you? And then you pull in and you're surrounded by water, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and we are close to um, Fort Myers. We're probably about 20 miles from Fort Myers. So it's not too difficult to get there from here. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera back around so we can show you a little bit of the view that we are experiencing. Put it near your head. Oh, can you walk out there, huh? Mm-hmm. My feet are starting to get sore. Already? It is? You're out of practice then. You're out of shape. So there is a on-site camp host, um, two of them. Um, they're pretty, pretty good people. Um, when we met them the first time that we were here, they were really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, they're there at the gate, I think, doing working hours. And also, there's not full hookup for people passing through. It's only for the camp host. So your dump is right there when you pull in or when you're pulling out. Say that again. There's. <coughs> It's not full hookup, it's electric and water, and your dump is right there at the entrance. For who? Everybody. We don't have dump. We don't? No. It's only for the camp post. Oh, uh, somehow I forgot that. Yeah. Oh. So both times that we're, um, when we were here before, they're actually were doing some maintenance, because they shut the grid down. 
they shut the grid down when we were here the first time. Um, no one had power almost the whole day. Something was going on. It looks like they might have it's come resolved. with water today because that sign. Yeah, true, true. But at least there's people camping on this side. Um, when we were here the first time, no one was over here. I think, I think one person for the was here. Stuff. Yeah. But they are good about coming around to every single RV or camper and letting you know that mm -hmm. they were. It was good. I'm gonna show some more of the grounds on this side. I didn't realize we didn't have sewer the first time. Yeah, we didn't. Huh. We dumped on the way out. Good to know. So, in our next um, chapter in life, it may be one of these things. Probably one third of that size because we can't afford that. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna be able to convince her to do this. Someday. Uh. Maybe when TJ's um, grown and out the RV. Oh, like, look right here. TJ, you wanna show the. You gotta watch out for manatees here. I'm hoping to see some. And I read today that there have been 1,000 manatee deaths this year so far. So, boaters, watch out. I think that nobody should have a boat in this certain location is what you should do. What? Why? Because killing manatees, but I don't even know so the, what, like, how did they get that, um, like, how did they look like that at first, too? So, they move really slow, so it's dangerous when boats are around because boats yeah. don't really see them and they can't move very fast and then they get hit. That's why. Well, that's with turtles. Yeah. But so last night we were back at our old stomping camp. grounds. Yeah. yeah. Stomping ground. Okay. Like uh, CB Smith. <laughs> yeah, CB Smith Park. So we stayed there for two months, and then. But only one night left night. Yeah, but we only there one for night left. Two months, you know what I'm yeah. For people who don't know, how did you find this campsite, this campground? I found it on Recreation.gov. Actually, I think Is that what mom, you're expecting me to say? I think my mom found it. I didn't it. know either. <laughs> I know I Overlander, it can't pin them, but this one, this would be on there too. It is. But you just can't do reservations. They'll take you to a link, I think, right? Yeah. They'll take you to a link. See that too. No. Look at that. What? Well, that's good though because now you can breathe easily, right? When since did I say I could not breathe? When you were in the I fly, the tunnel. And if you look right over there, you'll see the best looking RV in the park. I'm just kidding, but it's ours. Our, our favorite RV, right over there. Why is it your favorite? Because it's ours. Why can't we have a trailer? You, okay, TJ wants a supposedly bigger RV all of a sudden. He still wants to sleep right next to us. If he could sleep in our bed, he would. So our little baby RV is perfect for yeah. the three of us. Yeah, he's trying to suck her into something bigger. Yeah, yeah. but nah. we don't need it, right? Because you're still right by us <laughs> and not close enough. We take off this morning and we'll be heading possibly Tampa, maybe a little bit further for the night. There's a beautiful sunrise to start the day. If you stayed at this park, let us know in the comments below what you thought. And as always, thanks for watching.
Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below.